as part of the All Star Game festivities, something that wasn't in place in 1985. The last time the Twin Cities uh, hosted the um, All Star Game was or is the Futures Game, and it is my distinct pleasure to have the two opposing managers up here in the booth. Um, Mr. Bly Levin will manage the uh, international team. The and world team, yep. Mr. Well, Tom Kelly yeah. will manage the uh, U.S. team. Correct. I don't need to sit between you guys now. No, okay, all right. Never. Well, Tom, now let's get your perspective on it because we've gotten Burt's, but how much are you looking forward to this experience? Well, I, I really think it's an honor, first of all, to be part of any All-Star game. And Burt's pointed this out oh, numerous times here the last uh, few weeks about uh, being a player. I was honored uh, to be a coach and a manager on uh, three, four times, whatever it's been, and, and now to get to participate uh, after I've been retired for almost 15 years to be part of the Futures game and Major League Baseball thought enough of me to uh, uh, obviously living in the Twin Cities uh, certainly help, but uh, uh, be part of uh, the festivities. It's uh, really a uh, an honor without a question there's no way around it it's just special yeah it, it is special and uh, I already said to everybody that I will definitely be out managed <laughs> it, <laughs> I don't uh, know about that <laughs> but I, I like what you said when I when I did ask you about it yeah. you know just said you know let's just stay in the background let the let the kids play sure. and hopefully nobody gets hurt yeah that's the big thing yeah. Bert I don't want to send anybody back to their team or manager and say that there's well, it looks like you better keep an eye on him or something like that. Or, you know, you don't want that to happen. I got to ask you because so, uh, you know, with all these shifts going on, yeah, will there be any shifts going on? We're just in the talking about game? that. We're just up there, Roy and uh, uh, Vanessa. Or you just uh, mentioned of shifting, and and uh, I'm one for the pitcher throwing the ball over the plate and the hitter getting a chance to swing and the players getting a chance to field. So unless. Uh, somebody that we really know and I don't think we know the players that well so we're we're at a disadvantage that well, way I, I but we're just going to let them play I, I do a lot of homework TK and I've been <laughs> scouting your team and I'm seeing who the pull hitters are and who the punch yeah. and Judy's will be but I don't see any punch and Judy's in your lineup well I uh, I, I, I glanced at the <laughs> roster today the first time I had my hands on it actually and, and uh and I was picking Terry Ryan's brain about some of the players and he said oh this guy can he can pitch he can pitch he can pitch and this guy throws a hundred and, and blah 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 I said well which one of them guys is the closer <laughs> if we get a chance. It'll be a Sunday uh, event here at Target Field and it'll be followed by the celebrity softball game. And uh, it should be a wonderful time. I, I just wonder, though, I mean, you, obviously neither one of you want anybody to get hurt, but what oh, parameters no. uh, will you well, use in terms of a yeah. pitcher, how many innings, and things like that? Well, I think a lot of this is going to be defined by Major League Baseball. I think Frank Robinson, I, I'm sure Bert has to go to a meeting. I have to right. go to a meeting. On Saturday night. Yes. Correct. And uh, they're going to probably lay some uh, guidelines down. Or, Suggestions on uh, how to use people and things of that nature. And yeah, I know. I know. So. I just hope that you know a lot of these kids are coming a long way for this game. I want to try to get everybody Correct. in. Do I understand, Bert? It's it's nine innings. That's yes. it. Just if it's tied, that's. I believe so. Yes. I just think that's one of the. Uh, look at this. Dozier into a slide. Pino may have gotten a piece of it. A nice play to take care of Ellsbury. I think did, I think Pino did uh, deflect it just a touch Dick or to hit the man. Remember yesterday's ball game hit up the middle and uh, the Duno yeah, it got a piece and yeah. there just kind of reached out to the ball. did slow it down a bit but another great defensive yeah. play by Brian Dozier the old he's, slide and pop up. He's the master of that one now that's for sure. He's, he makes that play look routine almost uh, just a fabulous play. And he gets his uniform dirty which he likes. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is there's no truth to the rumor that the home field advantage for the triple A playoffs will be determined on the outcome of your <laughs> game right. That's it, it is an exhibition yeah. right. Uh, we hope so. And, uh, that's what it's supposed to be. And of course when you put the uniform on you, you always want to win. Pino to the bag Parmalee finds well, it. I hope you don't get upset quick. when I beat you. No, I won't okay. be upset. I'm sure we'll sleep at night. <laughs> we'll have Tom Kelly uh, more from him in the bottom of the inning. Stay tuned for this important message from Mesh Mesher and Spence. Here, bottom of the fourth.
fourth inning and of course a, a week from tomorrow will be the futures game Tom Kelly will manage Trevor May and Bert Blylevin will manage uh, Jose Barrios and Kenneth Vargas what do we know about these guys uh, Barrios pitched uh, last night and did really well pitched I believe seven innings and uh, I think I, seven I, innings I saw him pitch during my vacation time down mm -hmm. in Fort Myers yeah. he's got really good stuff yeah he does and Vargas of course uh, very good big player. Kenny switch hitter yeah. and uh, can hit the ball very hard hits it like an adult for being a young kid I always call it when they the bat hits the ball. He hits the bat for him. Hits the ball. The ball doesn't hit the bat. He hits. It. <laughs> he hits. It's the, it's the way it's supposed to be, and he hits it like an adult. And uh, he can sting the ball, and uh, can hit it a long way. And, and uh, he does very well at first. And yeah, both he, my players from Puerto Rico too. And it's nice mm -hmm. to see Puerto Rico. There's like I think I have four or five players from Puerto Rico, and that's good. That's I think the most from Puerto Rico. It's good to yeah, see Puerto Rico right. starting to bring some more players up to the big leagues, hopefully eventually. Any, Any Dutch players? No. But really? You know, Vargas is a very personable young man too. Where you'll enjoy his company, and and yeah. uh, he's a, a talented guy, and and he's he's his uh, he's a little heavy, and uh, he's up in near 250, I think, and his weight. Uh, I just hope he doesn't uh, uh, get uh, any bigger than he is. See what happened? Oh, right wow, here. that that's was right uh, in the mask. Yep. I think it hit the glove first, but I don't know if that slowed it down. But well, with Brian no, McCann already, uh, you know, yeah. not in the lineup. Cervelli, the backup Boy, that catcher. Was a, that was a oh my! I don't know how they do it. One strike to Willingham. And he takes a ball one and one. How about that pitch Willingham got called out in the first well, <laughs> second I, inning? Whatever. Oh my first inning? And my goodness gracious. That wasn't in, even in the area code to even attempt to swing him. Before or as Ron Gardner was being ejected, mm -hmm. he was pointing uh, yeah, the beyond ball. beyond uh, the catcher toward home plate, and I wonder whether yeah. Gardy might not have, uh, since well, he was going to get tossed out you know, anyway, express him. Yeah, he probably did, and and you know some of it had to do with that last strike yeah. of the game yesterday, where the pitch to uh, uh, Parmalee was uh, a touch outside, and. Uh, you know, as a hitter, you you can't you can't probe. You know, you have to guard the plate and protect the plate, two strikes, and try to foul pitches off. But you can't even you can't program that pitch in there. You you can't do it. So, and Parmalee's having probably the best at bats of anybody on a ball club this last couple of weeks. And the guy you'd want up there, yeah, at the end of the for game. sure. And and you know, you just can't convince your mind to swing at that pitch, even though you know you have to guard the plate. And, Protect, but oh, he's know, also can't do it. about the possible balk of uh, Phelps. Oh, that was with, uh, yeah, that was that uh, uh, knee buckle move, Bert, that you know about. Right. Uh, that pitcher, some pitchers can do it very quickly and, and get away with it, and, and that that wasn't what you. And of course, we got to slow it down on the right. TV here, and, and you could see it very clearly. So, all the fans out there watching can certainly see what you know you're talking about when you bring up this. This situation or play. I know teams practice this with some pitchers uh, to try to uh, steal an out. You know, you can get away with it once, and the umpire will go, well, Oh my, I better keep an eye on that. But so you better make it count when you do it. But again, uh, it wasn't all that quick when he did it, so it was very obvious to everybody and uh, except for the umpire. But again, uh, that was a balk move. And, Guardy didn't like it, and, I, and Dick, you're correct about some of the pitches. I think he was getting his two cents in right. about that as well. So, Fox tracks presented by Chrysler, and Arcia takes a called second. Well, let me ask you, TK. Yes, you, you didn't get thrown out a lot as a no, manager, sir. but no. Guardy has. Okay, yes, is it sometimes you uh, Guardy getting thrown out, or a manager getting thrown out, just Who's to kind of get us players? Let's go, guys. Well, I, I think if you pitch good, that will work. Right. <laughs> uh, again, uh, sometimes. Uh, if you have a young bunch of players, Bert, and really young guys, uh, you have to be a little cautious at times because you don't want chaos to develop in the dugout. You know. And I used to, when I did get thrown out, I, I remember saying numerous times, I think seven. Oh, was it? Okay. Uh, I said, anybody else gets thrown out, it's going to be trouble. I don't, don't. I can't say it on the TV, but don't follow what I just did. Right? Yeah, don't. I don't want to. Nobody. You know, and that's what you're afraid of—that you 
chaos would right. happen and right. and now yeah, it becomes like, embarrassing. Sometimes so. I mean Guardy could get thrown out yes. but he's also protecting Correct. maybe somebody Correct. else that's been yelling even more than him. Yeah and I, I have a feeling that's what happened right. and uh, exactly what happened and uh, so Blue's you have to too. protect your players at all times that's for sure and Guardy does a great job as job is in. Hey good luck though Thanks. we from tomorrow Thanks, the futures game. Thank you. We'll John do the Kelly against Burt Blyle. Good it. luck. And tickets available for the uh, Futures game here a week from tomorrow.